I'm here with my friend Apollonia Poilin. Um, as you can see, we've been cutting bread, but now you get the chance to see Apollonia do it. Apollonia, just for a second, tell us where we are. So we're in the back room of Vitre du Cherche Midi, my historical bakery since 1932. And I'm the third generation in charge of my family's business. I'm a baker and I'm going to- And a bread slicer. And a bread slicer, a professional bread slicer. Okay, so you have a particular way of cutting. You stand, yes. my husband says you address the bread. Would I you address please the address the bread for us? I, I will address the bread for us. So the first thing is to have a good stand so that we are stable, a good knife, preferably serrated, and then have, hold the bread at arm's length. Ideally, you lock your elbow so okay. that you, again, have a stable grip, whereas the crumb is can be a little wobbly and your knife can slip. So here we go. We hold it at arm's length, and then we start cutting. I love that sound. Sound, sound is love that, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so the thing is that when you keep it at arm's length, you also, not only do you have a better grip, you also have a more regular slice because you're not on top of the bread trying These to figure out what's the size. These are like mathematically perfect. Well, they're, they're <laughs> the fresher the bread, the harder it is, of course, but, but the idea is that you do have a more regular slice. Now, when you get about halfway through, you have this classic problem of <clears throat> the knife that tends to slip. Right. And we don't want to cut no, our fingers. No, I've no. done that too many times, so I'm just going to save everyone else. It's his fingers. Cut a little bit of a slot horizontally. Oh, that's so smart. Okay. Um, to create a grip for the knife to then work its way through the slice. Great idea. Um, and I, yeah, I've. If it sounds a little counterintuitive, you might not make for whoops around the edges. Run away, bread. Run away bread. Um, and then you know you get to the last slices. Uh, and then you have to decide what you're going to do with the crouton. There's something that you mean? Yes. <laughs> I, I want to suggest a few other uses instead of having, I mean, if you have crouton lovers like Dory, <laughs> please do. Um, you can also put the bread on the side and cut little um, dipping bites or uh, cut one big thick slice. Some people like that too. Okay, so. Are, you, are we okay with this? We're okay with that. We're okay. Cool. Just whoops. Uh, there we go. So we have one thicker slice. Some people really like the cross. I love the cross personally. Uh, and then you have the last crouton. And that one, because we're both crouton lovers, mm -hmm. we're going to cut it too. I'm sure. Like copain. Like copain. So tell us about the word copain. Copain, it comes from the Latin compagnere, the person with whom we share bread. So here we go. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Delicious and perfectly cut. Not bad, huh? Not bad at all. Thank you. <laughs>